was in 2011 years ago, 2006, yeah? 2006, and I was speaking at the hotel Chigiska, the best hotel at that time. Yeah? Now we are here, right? And I still remember Professor Doug Fados, the founder of Mongolian Marketing Association, and I'm happy this morning I took picture with the son and the daughter, yeah, the son of the daughter of Professor Dabado. But when I was coming here for the first time, everything is white. Everything is snow and everything is winter. Now, today, I have a, a fresh, fresh landscape. It's, it's a different Mongolia, so I'm happy to be here again. Okay, so I think our president, Gwen, is already summarized everything today. So you don't need to listen to other speaker. Eh? <laughs> everything already explained by her. She is our good president, the first woman president of Asia Marketing Federation. And she explained about the future of marketing, the new reality. And I think I saw so many, I see so many young Mongolians here. You are the future of Mongolia. Yeah? So we know Genghis Khan, we know Kashmir, we know mining, we know everything great about Mongolia. You used to have two thirds of the world. Yeah? Oh yeah, I would like to introduce my friend. Oh, he left already. Yeah. Actually, my friend is from Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Mr. Eng Tavian, but he left already, sorry. So, he is a diplomat of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Mongolia. He told me, Hermawan, please forward my message to the young Mongolians, that the young Mongolians now must be future-oriented, future-oriented. Yeah? We have to do the new country marketing for the Mongolia. Yeah? That's why the team of today uh, branding for Mongolian product in the Asian market, I think, is this will be very good. Right? So, the organizing committee asked me to talk about marketing 4.0. My latest book about marketing with Professor Bill Cotter. I've been working with him since 1998, so until now 19 years already. But I will expand a little bit to what I call marketing in the full car world and marketing 4.0 and entrepreneurial marketing in canvas. Okay, next. This is the eight books that I wrote with Professor Phil Potter and some of the book, four of the book, I wrote with Professor Witten Wan. Where are you? He will be the second speaker also. You can stand up. Then, he is from Nanyang Business School from Singapore. Okay, he's somewhere maybe. Uh, preparing for his uh, speech as a second speaker. So I started with repositioning issue when Asia was in crisis 1998. You were not in crisis in 1998, I know. But Indonesia, my country, was suffering crisis. Minus 13%, can you imagine? Korea also was crisis. And Thailand also. Thailand was starting the crisis in 1998. But Korea is jump again. Wow, this is my Professor Kim Bo Chong from Korea. Korea always have the confidence. Whatever happened to Korea, jump again. Now, Korea is great again. Indonesia is still so so, yeah? 5.2% is not bad, yeah? Because we are in Southeast Asia, you know, ASEAN, Association of Southeast Asian Nations, 10 countries, and we are lucky to have 240 million population. So we are number 16 in the world, G20, G20. So in G20, Asia has five countries, Japan, Korea, China, India, and Indonesia. Because we have a lot of people to understand. And at that time, we wrote a book called Repos in Asia. So I personally believe that Asia will rise again. And Professor Philip Potter at that time asking me, are you sure, Hermawan? that Asia will be good again. I put my name here in the book. Don't play with this title. No, repositioning Asia. From bubble to sustainable. Bubble means what? You look great from outside.
but you are vulnerable inside. That is Asia before 1998. Because so many nepotism, so many government protection to the businessmen. So we look good. So many big companies, but actually not all big companies are good companies. So we started with Remuseling Asia and we are talking about marketing 3.0, marketing with human spirit. It's available in 27 languages and we have a museum in Bali. We probably the only marketing museum in the world in Bali and now marketing for 4.0. 21 languages in the last eight months about digital economy. Next. Ah, this one. Yeah. This is 3.0, 4.0. Marketing 3.0 is about human spirit because with the coming of internet technology, you have to be fair to the customer. Marketing 1.0 is about the product. You develop a product, you claim that your product is the best in the world and you persuade the customer to buy from you. You use advertising and all that. That is 1.0. Customer is not that stupid anymore. And marketing 2.0 is about customer oriented. You try to understand the customer need and want, the customer expectation and perception, even the anxiety and desire. You know the anxiety and desire? Now they never talk, but they have anxiety and desire. Simulized by Facebook and search based simulized by Google. Right? There are two different, different characters of Google type and Facebook type. Please read the book, you will understand. How can you amplify the content? Yeah? This is what we call content marketing for brand curiosity. Next. Now, ACCA. Remember, A, attraction. C, curiosity. Now, the second C is how to increase the commitment. Commitment means what? More people want to buy from you. And this is the answer. In our book, we explain about. Next. What we call omni-channel marketing. Omni-channel is not multi-channel. Be careful. If now you are strong in offline, you have stores, for example. You have stores. You are Walmart. You are very strong in offline. Even Walmart did the wrong thing when they tried to compete with Amazon by doing the online. They, have, they don't have the competencies to deliver the product. The online company, they have the competencies already. You order by online and they deliver. They deliver. And Walmart, they don't have the competencies. They are waiting for the customer to come. Why you must compete with the online? The answer is omni-channel. Omni-channel means that if you are good in showrooming, like Walmart is the showrooming company, you must go to online. Maybe you can get order by online, but maybe the customer must collect the product from your own store. You don't need to deliver. This is only the example because you don't have the competency. Maybe you must collaborate with the logistic company to do the delivery. But if you are strong in web blooming, you are Amazon. Even Amazon now, Amazon Go, right? Alibaba, Alibaba Go. I don't know. Xiaomi in China. Xiaomi trying to have store apply. Because now after so many online, online, online customers becoming tired also. Yeah? They want to see the experience, right? Like where presentation, where presentation is very good actually. You know, people shifting, especially the millennials, they want to experience. They want to experience. Now, young people want to spend money on travel, for example. They don't care. They have car or not, they don't care. I travel to all over the world because they see so many information about the other countries from the YouTube. Right? Even they don't have enough money. Now they can get credit, they can get installment to travel. Right? Experience. They want to try the new restaurant. Even they don't have houses. Yeah? So baby women like me, we buy house first before we travel. But now, millennials, they want to travel before they have house. So be careful. If 
you are online. You cannot live by online only. This is only. So that's why disruption is sometimes is overused and abused. That means that you have to disrupt everything and then go online. No, 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 no. This is the answer. Omni, not multi. Yeah. And then focusing on mobile commerce in the now economy. Even you go to online, you must use apps, right? Everything must app space. If you are not app space, you are web based, you die. Right? Okay, next. And the last one, ACCA. You still remember? Attraction, curiosity, and then commitment. And then the last one is affinity. How you increase the advocacy? Ah, this is the, the most important. This is not about conversion. This is about engagement. How you increase the engagement? In our book, we talk about next. This is what we call engagement marketing. Mobile apps, social customer relationship management. What is the difference between traditional CRM and social CRM? Customer don't like CRM anymore. What is CRM? Company have database of the customer and they try to talk with the customer. They keep on asking of the customer and they keep on offering to the customer. Now customers, they don't like this, this kind of thing. They like to talk with the other customers. That's why right. customer relationship management is about B2C. Business to customer, but social CRM is about C to C, and the future of marketing is about B to C, but C to C. You know, Jack Ma just spent 1.1 billion US dollar, 1.1 billion US dollar in one local marketplace in Indonesia. Indonesia has 200. 50 million population. That's why Chenma is interested to come to Indonesia because we have 250 million population. We have uh, mentioned about 267 million population. I don't know which one is right. But 250 something. And why he put 1.1 billion in Tokopedia? Tokopedia is number one. Not number one actually. In Indonesia we have Tokopedia, we have Bukalapak. But why he put 1.1 million? Because it is C2C. Alibaba is already in Lazada. Lazada is covering Asia. And Asia is 10 countries in Southeast Asia. And 700 million. But B2C. But it is B2C. You know marketplace B2C? They invited many, many small medium enterprise and they helped the media, uh, the small medium enterprise to sell to to, to, to the customer. But C to C, it, you don't need to register. You have product, you just put your product over there, and then you can start doing business. And this is hot. This is about social CRM. So believe me, marketing is moving from B to B to B to B to C. And from B to B to C to C. So now the keyword is B to B to C to C. There's a new keyword for marketing. Yeah? Social customer relationship management and gamification. Use game. Customer like game. Customer like contest. They are happy if they get point from your game. Use game. People like style. And if people like you, by gamification, because you are using gamification, they will endorse you. But be careful, in marketing 4.0, we also give warning. Not only positive advocacy, sometimes your competitor will create. You don't know whether the comment is coming from your friend, your real friend, or coming from your competitor. This is a war, FUKA. Why you shoot your enemy? The first bullet you shoot your enemy, they will react and everything becoming chaotic. And your plan will not work as planned. But in 
the whole car world, you must rest still. Strategic leader. Can point the direction. Clear vision. We must reach that point. Okay. Now, the last one. Why we need entrepreneurship now in marketing? And Professor Widen Wai, my co-author, please stand up. You are not here yeah, yeah, yeah. when I call you. Ah. Yeah. He will be the second speaker after this. He will talk about enterprising. How important is enterprising? He will talk about marketing enterprising. Yeah? I believe if you understand marketing, means you have driver license. So you are eligible to drive your car. But if you don't have entrepreneurship, you have a driver license, but you are not so creative. You don't want to take risk. You are trapped in the traffic, you just wait. But if you have entrepreneurial spirit and you have the driver license, driver license means marketing, marketing knowledge, no segmentation, you know targeting, you know blah 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 blah. And then you have entrepreneurial spirit. In this book cover, you can navigate. You can navigate your car. That's why Google has navigation. So the word now is Navigation. How you navigate. The machine can only help you. So can you are a pilot. Imagine you are a pilot. Imagine you are a pilot. From Bulan Bandar, you will fly to Seoul or to Beijing or to Hong Kong. And the pilot will do what? He will put Beijing in the computer, right? And then he will do the autopilot, right? But when the storm comes, when the storm comes, volatility happens, uncertainty happens, complexity happens, and ambiguity. You need human. The human will navigate the plane. So that is very interesting. In this machine world, you still need human. human yeah? And human and machine can work together to navigate your business in the book cover. I don't like the word war because my book, Marketing 3.0, is 37 <laughs> languages. It is not about war. It is about love. It is about humanity. That's why I started with the war situation, FUKA, but I am ending with the word navigation. In navigating your plane, in navigating your ship, if you are in the ship, the captain will navigate you also. Right? If the storm came, the storm came, you have to navigate. Yeah? So, I was starting with Fuka work in the battle field, but I'm ending now with what I call navigation. And what is navigation? Navigating the unpredictable. You still remember the keyword of the Fuka? Unpredictability. Which may disrupt your company. But remember, the word disruption is overuse and abuse. But unpredictability is for sure. Unpredictability, I like the word unpredictability. Now, yeah. But the other keyword is navigating the unpredictability. There are four elements. Number one. Professional leadership with clear vision. What happened in the Fukuoka? You need professional leadership. There must be somebody who pinpoint the direction, right? Even in the Fukuoka, even in the war, there must be one colonel or one even one sergeant in the colonel shot and dead in the battlefield. There must be somebody who lead the army, right? Otherwise. The army will be disabled. Number two, you need strategic marketing with a real mission. What is your mission? A company must have vision, mission, and values. Values. You must keep your values. And human entrepreneurship with values. To me, there is one, one, one colleague of mine in, in Korea from Catholic University in Korea creating the word human entrepreneurship. What does it mean? To him, human entrepreneurship means that in company, 
not only the boss who become entrepreneur. So every employee must become creative because this bukan. The organization cannot become only command and control organization. Command and control means what? Everybody with the direction. Yes, we need the direction. But all of us must become entrepreneurial also. To me, human entrepreneurial organization means what? This is what I call sense and respond organization. There is a contrast between command and control and sense and respond. Sense and respond is what? Mean in the organization, everybody is entrepreneurial. That is a strategic leader. Yeah, but we need to be creative also. Yeah. So if everyone become an entrepreneurial in the organization, means that organization becoming entrepreneurial machine. Are you familiar with the learning machine? The learning organization, everybody learn, not only the boss learn. Now, I use the word entrepreneurial machine. Entrepreneurial machine is what? Everybody entrepreneurial. For sure, they must be professional leader. For sure, strategic marketing. But human entrepreneurship means that everybody has a values, DNA as entrepreneur. Yeah? Not only the boss. Yeah? And finally, the basic agility tool is back to basic marketing, finance, and advocacy. What is the weakness of marketing guy? They don't understand finance. They don't want to understand balance sheet. They don't want to understand profit and loss. And they don't want to understand about cash flow. They don't care about cash flow. Now, even the government must go to IMF, right? Because of the cash flow. Cash flow is very important, not only for a country, but for a company also, right? Okay, next. So this is what I call entrepreneurial marketing digital canvas. Why I put digital over there? Because at any time, you must change. Very easy, right? Canvas, canvas, you can, you can, you can create something, but you can eliminate, you can change easily, okay? This is the first thing that you have to know if you want to understand marketing. So we have marketing for competitiveness book. Yeah. With Professor Widon Wan, with Professor Phil Potter. The basic marketing. The basic marketing. Marketing is not only about marketing mix. Marketing mix is only tactic. Marketing is not only selling. But marketing is understanding the change, competitor, customer, and Company, our own company. This is for You see, remember Fuka? Volatility with change, relative with change, uncertainty with competitor, and complexity with customer, and ambiguity with company. I relate Fuka with this for And after you understand the for what? Next, this is what I call PDB, positioning differentiation branding. My friend from Ministry of Foreign Affairs, who used to work in Jakarta for three years, he just left. The day before yesterday, we had dinner. Hermawan, please help us. What is the right position name for Mongolia? And then I said, I read anywhere that the slogan for Mongolia is nomadic by nature. No magic by nature. That is the position, the official position, whether you want to change or not, that is no magic by nature. Positioning is a short statement that will be easily understood by other people to show what is your strategic intent. But positioning must be supported by differentiation. Differentiation is the uniqueness. And it is right. Mongolia is no magic by nature. And I ask it. What is your resources? Okay, copper, gold, coal. But we cannot rely on the commodity only. And then for that, buy Kashmir. And then I follow this advice. I bought the Kashmir from Mongolia. And I feel good, eh? Yeah? Warm. <laughs> because by nature, the animal even nomadic, right? They go everywhere and then they can protect themselves. 
because the weather is very hot here and the animal can survive. So if the animal can survive, we can survive also with the with the cashmere. But what else? This morning he told me, I know what there is one secret that we have to use. Wow, well, this is very important. All meat in Mongolia is organic. We don't have a farming culture because we have nomadic culture. So even animal, we don't need to feed them. We don't need to feed the animal. If we feed the animal, there is no guarantee that this is the real organic, right? Wow! I remember the Frank Perdue chicken case used by Harvard Business School. If you go to US until now, chicken branded by Perdue is still number one or number two, I don't know. But since 1922, the father of Perdue, Frank Perdue, started the chicken business. You know chicken is commodity, right? But Frank Perdue, the son of the founder, want to rebrand, want to do branding, not rebrand. TDP, positioning, differentiation and branding. He want to position the chicken, his chicken, to be a special chicken. But what is a differentiation? Not nomadic. He feed the chicken, still feeding the chicken, but the, 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 the special food. So the skin of the chicken is yellow. And then he claimed that this yellow is not chemical. No, no worry. My chicken is yellow, different, different chicken, because I feed them with a special food. Wow. But in Mongolia, it's good. You don't need to feed them anymore. <laughs> All meats are organic. So, there must be a brand put in Mongolia. Meat. This is just my idea. I'm coming here. AMF, BJMF is want to contribute also to, to Mongolia. Maybe some input you can use, I don't know. Yeah? But PTP, positioning, differentiated branding is very important. If you have a nice slogan and it is not supported by the differentiation, it becomes anti slogan. So, PTP is very important. And then, next, you have to find the segment. Yeah? We cannot market the product to all segments. And marketing mix, product price based promotion, and selling. Marketing mix and selling is only tactic. If you don't have the analysis of 4C, if you don't have the right PDP, you go directly to marketing mix, you will die. Because marketing is not starting from marketing mix and selling. And you must follow up with service and the right process, supply chain from end to end. You must have the right model of process to give the right level of service to the customer. This is my simple model of what marketing. And you can read this in another book called Marketing for Competitiveness. Now the official book of Asia Marketing Federation for certification. So President Gwen already talked about certification. So you can ask MFA how to get certification, CPM Asia. Yeah. And the second element is finance. You must understand the balance sheet profit and loss cash flow. Why I start with balance sheet? You know, why I start with balance sheet? You know, the weakness of marketing guys, they don't care with the asset that they use. They only have just in case, not just in time. The Japanese told us, just in time, you must just in time, just in time is what? You need the inventory, but you need really need it. If you have the inventory, and you cannot sell the inventory, it's a burden. If you have so many buildings, and it is not productive, that is easy for us. So that's why marketing guys must understand balance sheet first. How much is our asset? Because our asset is always paid by the debt and equity. Very simple. Asset is paid by the debt and equity. Equity is your own money. Do you think your own money has no interest? Yes. Because if you spend your own money, means that you cannot spend it for another case. 
So that is what we call opportunity cost. And after balancing, you must understand about profit and loss. This is easier to understand. But it is closely related with marketing. If you don't have differentiation, if you don't have differentiation, if you are the price taker, like you are in the mining, you just pray to God. Pray to God, the price is going up. But if you have differentiation and you know how to position yourself, and you know how to do the tactical, so you can become the price maker. Price, sale price, sales based on price, deducted by cost of goods sold, you, might, you will have good gross margin. And the gross margin is the primary driver. After gross margin, your overhead. After overhead, and then blah 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 blah, EBITDA blah blah blah. You don't need to be expert in finance, but you must understand the philosophy. And finally, is cash flow. <laughs> cash flow is the life and death of a company, and the life and death of a country also. Indonesia was suffering minus thirty percent, and we went to IMF also. And then finally, after five years or six years, we, we pay everything, so we are free from IMF. So cash flow is very important. If we marketing guy, we can only sell, and they can pay whatever, whenever they want. Wow, we will die. Sometimes customer want to, 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 to delay the payment, right? So cash flow is, uh, is very important. And next, market cap. What is the difference? Balance sheet, profit and loss and cash flow is your internal and market cap is the external, right? Now many startups has very bad balance sheet, profit and loss cash flow but very good market cap. Yeah? If Alibaba came, if Alibaba come and put 1.1 billion, all of a sudden your startup becoming unicorn. And unicorn is minus, minus, minus and market cap is positive. But if you are healthy, plus, 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 and market cap is good also. Yeah? But sometimes plus, 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 and market cap is not so good. Means that the investor and the creditor, they don't believe, they don't trust about the opportunity. And finally, uh, professionalism is very important. You still remember professional leadership? Productivity is very important. And finally, creativity and enterprise. This is based on my four, my four navigation formula, navigating the unpredictability. Number one is professional leadership. You must have professional leadership. Number two, you must have strategic marketing. Number three, you must have human entrepreneurship. Means one, everybody must become entrepreneurial. And finally, this is the last part. The agility tool. To become agile means does not mean that you are technical. You must have a canvas and then you must design the strategic marketing and the financial impact and how you transform your organization. Not only professional organization. You need professionalism, but professionalism itself is not enough. So we must transfer our organization, transform our from professional organization becoming entrepreneurial organization. Thank you so much. Hopefully it will trigger the seminar today. Thank you.